Hello everyone and welcome back to another Manga Monday. Today I am going to be reviewing Volume 5 in the Haikyuu series by Haruchi Furudate. So this is what the cover looks like. I read this, as you can tell, in the ebook version. My library only has the print versions of Volumes 1 through 4 in this series, so I'm going to have to read Volume 5 on or five forward on the ebook version. So yep, here we are, volume five, Q. So if this is the first video that you're watching from me that's on Q and you're not familiar with the series, I'd recommend um, going back and watching volumes one through four, just because there are going to be things that I'm going to assume you know going into this video, I'm gonna assume that you're familiar with or have watched my previous videos on volumes one through four just because that's how I'm going to do this. So volume five is going to take place primarily during the inter high qualifier. So just as a little review, the two main characters of this book, or there's a lot of main characters, it's a volleyball team, we have the full cast of characters, but the two big ones are our primary guy, Shoyo Hinata. So Hinata is very short and he wants to be a volleyball star and he was inspired by another short player who uh, was doing very well during a high school tournament. He is, unfortunately, when he hits high school, he is paired with his rival on the volleyball team, and that is Tobio Kagayama. Kagayama kind of has an attitude. He thinks he's better than everyone else. He's a very talented player, but he needs to really learn teamwork. So Hinata has a lot of spirit, spunk. He has a lot of energy and a willingness to learn. Kagayama has a lot of raw talent, and he needs to work on the teamwork. So putting them together, combined with the strength and the skill and the experience of the rest of the team, is what this whole series is about, plus volleyball. So, volume five is the inter-high, we're starting the inter-high tournament. So this is like a qualifying, or th these are qualifiers to get into the like national high school tournament. That's the way that I understand it. So they're going to have to play a variety of teams. The high school they go to, which is Curasano, um, yeah, Curasano, I believe, is a team that used to be really good. They used to be very talented and unfortunately they have fallen in standings over the last couple of years. So they are trying to repair their reputation sort of and also make a go of it. Plus Hinata is very dedicated to the team and he wants to do really well because he wants to play a lot of volleyball. So in volume five, we're starting the qualifying tournament and they're gonna have to play through a number of teams. There's a lot of really good teams on the roster, but it's like a single elimination format. I believe they said single elimination. So like when they get eliminated from their the loser of the bracket of the two teams that play drops out. They don't have another opportunity. Well, the next one advances. So it's kind of like this advanced for this advancing format that they're going to have to advance towards one another. I'm sure you guys all know how a bracket works. I don't know why I'm bothering to explain this, but they have had some hiccups. They've lost their practice games and despite getting better, despite having a lot of practice, despite being serious about their sport, they're not fully there yet, so there's some nerves. So they do wind up in this series playing through the game with, playing a game against another team, but um, I'm not gonna say how that goes, but I'm sure you can kind of guess how things are going to go. However, this kind of feels like the start of this, I don't know if you call it an arc. I read a lot of manga and I watch a little bit of anime and I still don't really know when we're starting a new arc. I always get so confused. I don't know. So this is probably like the inner high arc. I'm just really dumb and don't realize it. This is definitely going to take a number of books. At least I kind of see it's going to take a number of books to get through this entire tournament and how it's going to play out. Um, the good news is Hinata is only in his first year of high school. So if he doesn't make it, I guess he has two more years. But we do have this cast of characters, including a lot of seniors, who this is going to be their last time at the tournament. And if they don't make it through, then that's going to be the end of their high school volleyball career. So this was a really good read. I loved it. I would give it a four star. It was very enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I do wish I had the physical copy, but that is a constraint of my library. They only have the ebook copy for volume five, so I wasn't able to read it in physical um, print. But if you have enjoyed volumes one through four, then you would enjoy volume five. And I'm really excited to read volume six because that's going to be a continuation of this tournament. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out because it's interesting. We're starting something that... Um, has a lot of different ways that it could turn out and a lot of things that could happen. And it's volleyball, which is fun. Uh, my sister, who I was talking to the series about, said that she hates sports manga uh, because they stress her out very, very much. And she finds when she's reading them or watching a sports anime, she gets closer and closer to the screen and like tenses up. And I did find that this is kind of tense because you you know that if they lose and they're eliminated from the tournament, and while you might have some gut feelings about how certain things are gonna turn out, or at least certain games are gonna turn out, especially closer to the beginning, you still kind of have, at least I find I have that like tense feeling like, oh no, what's gonna happen? So I felt like I was really 
close up to my to my e-reader, my little tablet in the chair that I was curled up in. So I did find that to be true and I'm excited to read volume six because I just feel like this is an interesting story and I like the way it's going and it definitely deserves the good reviews that this series has. If you have any thoughts on this series or anything else you'd like to add, please let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments. If you have any other sports manga that you'd like to recommend, I'd love to read it if I can get my hands on it. I am a little constrained by the library, but if I can get my hands on it, I will read it. So thank you for the recommendations. I always look into them. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.